Key principle number 17 for MMA success is that knowledge is power. You want to train in as many different martial arts styles as possible and learn from as many different people as possible and take all the best bits that you learn and put it all together. Um, I wrote, my first book that I wrote and what you can find online is uh, 100 Essential Punch Bag Techniques. So instead of just coming up to the bag or actually an opponent and just throwing a jab across a hook with a round at it, you want different variations of those techniques. So the more knowledge that you have, the more options you can actually throw to your opponent. So if Mike's in front of me, I, I like to use my jab a lot. So I can throw a straight jab down here that goes down the centre. I might throw like a window jab to get a different angle. I might throw a thumb up jab to see through his guard through that little gap in there. I might throw a low jab from here just to rise up the middle and get in there. I might throw a GSP sort of jab to strike him. I might throw a stutter jab where I fake the first one and then throw the next one. I might throw a fake jab and then land something else. So I've probably got about 30 different jabs that I can use. And instead of just doing the same one over and over again, where it eventually looks to counter it or something, yeah, okay, okay. The more that you can offer someone, the harder it is. If I've got 20 jabs, 20 crosses, 20 hooks, 20 different round ass kicks, like a chopping low round ass kick or an angling round ass kick where I get around the side, you know, jump round ass kick, 720s where you miss the first one and then you kick the second one. The more that you can offer someone, the harder you are to deal with. So knowledge is power, learn as much as possible. Don't have two or three that you just do all the time because they're going to work you out after the first minute.